Hello everyone, my name is Trinity Aeronaut, and today I just realized I forgot to show you, gave you, give you a tour of my home, the Winchester home. I had promised you that a couple weeks ago when I did the tour of my barn pole houseboat. So I'm going to give you this tour today. Before I do that, I would like to tell you what I'm wearing. This outfit is uh, very, very adorable, and it comes in three different textures. It is my outfit for uh, the Spoonful of Sugar event. And uh, uh, I will have this up. If you purchase one of these three different um, texture uh, combinations, uh, you will be doing, uh, give it, not only getting a, a, a lovely outfit, but you will also be um, a helping um, Doctors with Borders uh, with their funding. Uh, it's, a, it's a very, very good cause, uh, especially in today's world. And 100% uh, and of the profit of this outfit goes to Borders for uh, Doctors with, uh, without borders. Uh, okay, so uh, the first thing I want to do is, is do a pull back on the house and uh, show you the outside of it. It's beautiful. It is one of my favorite houses, although I've done partitions for all of them and I will show them all to you. And in a way, each of these houses have their own unique features. And uh, uh, I will be showing you each one of those and how I did them uh, in future videos. So this is this is the Winchester. It was my first, and it is the one I currently live in. And uh, I decided to go ahead and turn this smaller of the the rooms in into a sitting room, a living room kind of deal, and. Uh, that's that's so much better. All right. Well, in here, um, this is a this is a beautiful uh, one prim piece for at what found at one prim possible. It is a living room set. Uh, I tried to get as much one prim stuff in here as I could. Uh, the particular uh, lilies over here are not part of the set. That is a apple fall piece from one of the gotchas from the arcade uh, a few years ago and I think they're pretty much all over the place at this point I think you can get you can get one somewhere else this particular um, grandfather clock is not one of the grandfather is not part of the prim possible it is uh, Goodness, I don't know. Let me look. It's the Apple Fall Grandfather Clock. I'm not 100% certain it's still available. This I got on sale when they were having a moving sale. These two curtains with the... With the um, prisms. I'm sorry, not the curtains. These two lamps with the prisms are also not uh, part of the print one prim possible... P uh, a living room set that I got again at the Apple Fall moving sale as well as this particular wreath and this um, chimney uh, this, this fireplace out here uh, this particular piece is only one prim I have a lot of one prim stuff in here this is something I created on my own. Uh, I think I'm going to probably put that up on my marketplace in a in a few days and you can then choose to get it or not get it if it's something you really love. Um, little hint. This particular piece and this particular piece I got oh, let's see. I know where. I got this was I got this from Fancy decor, and this was a. Gr these are group gifts. Both of these are group gifts. If you go to Fancy Decor and join the group, it will cost you. It will cost you a little bit, 
but there is enormous number of old grip group gifts there and it is seriously way worth more than what you have to pay for the uh, to, to join the group I think the, the group was 250 or something along those lines and and I got easily 250 worth of items in and I put some of them in here so I will I will tell you uh, which ones they are um, all right this particular uh, table down here is also from Fancy Decor. Uh, that was on the 55 Linden sale, so uh, go ahead and get that if you can. This uh, piece uh, on the, that I got on the wall is from... Oh Lord, I don't remember where all this stuff is from. Um, it's from Apple Fall. It's original artwork. It is... I don't believe I did get this from the uh, from the moving sale. I'm not sure where when I did pit purchase that. This particular piece here is from Prim Possible. I bought the the one that um, that that literally allowed you multiple uh, pot textures, multiple plant textures. If you go into the pot textures, you'll see there are uh, pot menus and then in the menus you're going to find the different like wood one and, and terracotta and white shade and concrete and then if you go into the plants themselves uh, the textures on the plants you can see these are grouped in to different types trees with flowers uh, tropical plants annuals uh, perennials, palms, named trees, fruit trees, desert, natural mix, just Japanese, it's just potted plant, just, it's just a, a, a ton of them here. And this is well worth the cost of that, of that pot because it's copyable. So it's something that you can use over and over again in your house. And it's only one prim. That's the beauty of it. And in these smaller houses where you really only have 351 land impact, you really do need to get as much in as you can that's only one prim. So um, this this uh, is this this was uh, just a very large room with the double doors going out, and I broke this room into two parts, and uh, and the partition here is mine. So I actually am selling this partition or this kit with all the partitions in it and, and the extras in it uh, on the marketplace so you can go and find it. Uh, this particular partition has the floor in it as well so uh, that, that's something uh, that you might want to consider. It's, uh, it, it breaks it down so you can have two different rooms here. Uh, this particular room I happen to choose as the kitchen and the room out here I happen to choose as the dining room. This furniture came from, again, I hate to say it, Apple Fall, their, um, their, their moving sale. I'm sure a lot of these pieces are uh, still at Apple Fall, but they will not be at the reduced price I got them. They are, they are really, really quite lovely, and I spent a minor fortune there, but I got a lot. The, uh, all of these items on here are one prim. This, however, is the, 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 the display cabinet is 16 or 17 prims. Well worth the extra primage, just because it's so stunning. It's really, really beautiful. And each of those pieces are our mesh so it's not like you have a, a piece that's um, that's just a, a, a painted on piece or a picture it's just all you it's all three-dimensional this area out here is uh, the porch it is the pergola porch this however is not the actual top of the porch. This is uh, one of the uh, pergolas that I made uh, in Blender. It's about 11 prims and that includes the roses. Uh, it, it, the, 
the kit itself comes with a different pergola on here that you can add uh, your own, you know, whatever you want to add to it, ivy or or florals or whatever. I, it, right, but it, it, I believe, is just um, empty. This is also uh, one of my designs as well. Uh, I'm going to turn the... Well, uh, I'm not going to turn it back on, but it, it's, it makes... Uh, it's got a random sound. If you look at it, it's got... Uh, you can do seldom, you can do seldom sound, normal sound, or an often sound. You've also got a volume. You can turn it on or off, and you can make it random or in sequen sequence, which uh, I prefer the random, and I prefer it at a normal rate so that it sounds as if the wind is blowing it, and then there are times when it doesn't, and uh, that's just very, very lovely. This piece out here is also one of mine this is uh this is a terraced garden if you look the garden has some really i i, I built this to fit in the yard uh i kind of filled this yard a little bit full with some of my designs uh this yard is has this one terraced garden over here which of course has some uh this also comes with the the stairs, the plantings, the walls, the ground itself, and then you've got two terraced pools over here. The first pool has in it this, uh, this, um, these, these fish, and the duck, as well as the, um, the lily pads and then this pool over here is not a pool for critters it is a pool for people you've got sunbathing up here on the top terrace and you've got another set of uh, this is a one where you have another set of different things you can choose you've got a dive here You've got a dive here, then you've got dipping your feet, and uh, chilling, that's of course over here on laying on a rock, you've got the float, you've got your watching the fish, all of it just very very nice, and uh, this is another one that's, if it's going to be up on my um, marketplace in the next day or so. <sighs> then when you stand, I'm going to go to the front, and then I'll take you upstairs after we get down, done with all the bottom. We've got these lovely nice chairs here, and you've got, I've got this lovely pot potted plant, which I think is another one of the prim possible pieces. And then over here, this is something new. I have just done this in the last couple of days, so I do not have this up on the marketplace yet. But And it will take a little while to um, riz in. Uh, but if you look at it, it is uh, a very beautiful pool. This this is the second pool that I did for you, for you. The first pool is the one that's on the marketplace right now that has the, you know, some of the dives. This is a different pool. It's a little bit longer because I wanted it to support the laps. And this is called my lap pool. And this has two additional swims in it. It's got a swim in it for the uh, bath backstroke and it's got a swim in it for the, um, uh, for the uh, breath stroke and it also has several other swims and dives in it so do those okay that is a dive and we've got just a whole bunch of different 
poses in here and uh, animations. And here's a float. We've got a float back here. We've got a flip. And that's basically just flipping inside the pool. I'll, um, we've got hang side. We've got thinking. And that's on the edge of the pool. We've got a dipping the toes in. We've got two water treads. One is kind of a messy tread. This one. And then the other one is a much neater tread. And the last two, well, the last three, is first of all, we've got a play in here for for those of us that jo don't really want to do laps. We just are adverse to exercise and we just like to get in the water, cool down, and play. And then for those of us that really like the idea of swimming in Second Life, we've got a backstroke. And we've got laps. And this is swimming for two. Just so you know, this is swimming for two. And uh, two, two people could be swimming side by side in this pool. And uh, um, as well as other things. Uh, there will be some... This will be online in a couple of days on the marketplace and I'm going to add some toys for inside the pool as well uh, just so for some family fun okay that's that's the swimming uh, this pool comes uh, with this uh, the pool shell the liner the, the pool itself the board and these two really lovely little uh, fountains. You can choose to take them or remove them. If you choose to remove them, uh, the, they're separate pieces. That's about eight, eight or nine um, prims that you're pulling from this pool just by getting rid of those. So if you're, if you're uh, really concerned about how many uh, land impact each of your items take that is something that you may want to consider okay this is the first first floor all the way down and by the way this um, the ground here is uh, it wasn't quite level when I came there was a little bit of a dip in it and uh, I didn't like where the green grass was as opposed to the sand. It was mostly a sand plot without a lot of green. So I spent some time looking for different textures. This is a texture I, I kind of merged two different textures from this designer for this, uh, this particular um, texture on the ground. It looks very natural. Okay, this is the first floor and the yard. So let me take you up and look at the second floor. This is this is a this was a, the second largest room. So instead of having one large room, I decided to to kind of divide this in half with a door here. And these doors are lovely because they're open. They open uh, automatically instead of having to click on them. You just have to co collide with them and then they open. So this was, sorry, this is the bathroom. There's enough room in here for a tub, the bedroom area. I just want to give you a little hint. Each one of these pieces on the uh, here 
in this bedroom, with the exception of the bed, is one prim. This is one prim, this, uh, this dresser. And each one of these nightstands with the attached lamp is one prim. These are from Anna Erotica on the marketplace. You can find these on the marketplace. They are inexpensive and they are one prim and really you cannot go wrong with that. I got this particular bed from Oh, prim possible. Also one bed, one prim. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. This particular piece I got that, that's on the wall here, I got... It is also one print. It is the APS Sun and Moon Medium Shadow. Uh, um, and I got this on the marketplace. So, APS. If you look up that or if you look up Sun and Moon or whatever, you'll find uh, that particular piece. These two seats out here are also from... Anna Erotica. There is, if you just put in her name, you will find all kinds of things from, uh, that she makes that are only one prim, and she's really quite brilliant. She's really quite brilliant. Uh, a lot of the, the, um, uh, uh, flowers and fauna and plants. I got are from Reed Parkin, so you really want to consider, and, and they're very low prim, so you may want to consider uh, using and getting some of this stuff as well. Um, that's it. This is that's it for this particular for this particular house. Well, let me see. Maybe I a couple of other things here uh, on the back porch. I have this chair or this swing which I got from what next the lovely swing it's only seven prims or seven land impact but you have to admit it's a gorgeous one and it sits quite nicely and it's for two and and it's always nice when you can put yourself and your honey on the chair too this this uh bicycle is simply decor i got it um in a freebie pack from prim possible Prim Possible has a freebie pack on the marketplace. It comes with this chair, with this with this um, bicycle. It also comes with a working um, um, wind chime, but it is a little bit different than this one. It, the noise is continuous. Okay, this is it. Um, if you like this video, then uh, go ahead and, and give it a thumbs up. And if you like all my videos, if you want to see more of the same types of videos, uh, as I cover some of my different builds, so I've, got, I've got several types of builds coming up. I've got more traditional houses. I've got three more traditional houses I'd like to show you. I've also got three more um, houseboats that I've done that I'd like to show you. So um, go ahead and subscribe to me and you'll get a message whenever I put out a new video. Thank you.